Lumbini, the birthplace of Gautam Buddha, is the world's famous religious site that is renowned for its cultural and historical significance. In ancient times, it was the capital of Sakyananda Devi. Today, Lumbini is known globally for its cultural and religious importance. Visitors to Lumbini can explore stupas, temples, monasteries, and sacred Bodhi tree, including the Mahadevi Temple and Asoka Pillar. Nepal is a country that boasts many places like Lumbini, which attracts visitors worldwide due to their natural beauty, historical, and cultural heritage. The diverse aspects of Hindu and Buddhist cultures are fascinating to the visitors as the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas. I am excited in stepping into the land of Buddha second time in my life. Eyes are enjoying the peaceful sceneries around. A young boy is also standing along with the well-wishers waiting to welcome me. We moved towards hotel on a motor vehicle after warmly offering a traditionally felicitating scarf to this young boy. Welcome to Nepal. They told me while welcoming me at the hotel with flower bouquet. Sange Lodoi Rimpoche reached along us at the hotel and we greeted each other. The Bhautana Stupa is one of the most sacred and famous Buddhist sites in Nepal. This stupa is over 1,500 years old. Features colorful prayer flags, lungta and tarchu. And a massive dome structure with the eyes of Buddha painted on all four sides of it. Pilgrims and spiritual travelers visit this spiritual place for meditation, prayer, contemplation, and rituals. Then we move towards Bodha after taking a quick rest at the hotel. fair used to be held here. I got a chance to interact in the fair. It was pleasing to observe the surroundings 
and the architecture around the Baudanath premises. The Mall Fair was being celebrated by Tamang communities thronged from hilly and mountainous regions of the country. I also enjoyed the fair with them and the interactions presented a different identity of Nepal. Situated at Peaceful Hill near Kathmandu is a popular pilgrimage site among Buddhists for meditation caves. Visitors can enjoy a blend of religious, cultural, and natural experiences here. Today, we are visiting Farping. I have visited this place earlier as well, but other friends of my group are visiting for the first time to this place. Omadare dudare dure soha Omadare dudare dure soha You all bring your wish, okay? You know Dolma Tara, she is the Buddha in female aspect. When she could have become Buddha in masculine, she said so many Buddha in male form. Why not in female form? I should. Then she pray, she practice, then she became Buddha in the female body. And she is called Dolma, Tara. That means she is a helper. We, we can uh, pray our wishes and she will help us to achieve very, very fast. So whatever you have wishes for good health, wealth, long life, your business, you pray to Tara and we offer the lamp to Tara, okay? Also for the sake of all sentient beings. Omadare, Tudare, Turiya, Soha. Omadare, Tudare, Turiya, Soha. Omadare, Tudare, Turiya, Soha. Wonderful scenes around the place were attracting all of us. We returned after observing peaceful beauty there. Meditate here for many years, so we are really blessed to be here. We will pray. This Lianhua Shen has been here for many years. So when he was here, the spirit of Asiu Luo wanted to protect him. He was here for many years, so he prayed to the Lord. So here, there is still a Lianhua Shen temple in this place. So he wants to protect the spirit of Asiu Luo. So here, he wants to protect the spirit of Asiu Luo. So here, he wants to protect the spirit of Asiu Luo. 念哦啊吽，贝扎咕噜贝玛斯蒂吽。念的时候观想，莲花三大师的佛光照住我们，心中的心轮放光，就接受莲花三大师的爱。那么祈愿莲花三大师加持我们修，所有的外法、内法、气法、不死红光法、大圆满法，全部这一世成佛成修。Om Ahu Benza Guru Pema Siddhi Om Ahu Benza Guru Pema Siddhi May Guru Rinpoche's blessing, body blessing, speech blessing, mind blessing, everything be with us. May all our obstacles be eliminated. May we possess health, wealth, long life, success, prosperity in our life. Om Ahu Benza Guru Pema Siddhi Om
战斗那边的枪，拿他的 energy 回家。那么这个是莲花圣大师，这边有他的手印，那么也可以手来动莲花圣大手，祈求修法有成。是点石成金的 power。Everyone is happy.、Yeah. Yeah. So we are very happy. My place is very holy. Guru Sumbachi in the past century, no flight, no car, miracle power. Came here, stay here, did meditation here, you know. So Guru Sumbachi is very, he has a lot of spiritual magical power. In our, in our days, we need his blessings for our health, for our wealth, for long life, prosperity, you know. It's not every day we come here. So, we do little mantra together, okay, Bajra Guru? Om Ahum Bajra Guru Parma Siddhiyo If we feel Guru Ramaji is here, if you don't feel, then he is some, somewhere. No? Guru Ramaji is always with us. So come now, Rinpoche will teach you. Every day you can recite uh, Bajra Guru Mantra. Om Ahum Guru Rinpoche, Buddha, Body, Speech, Mind. Vajra is compassion, Vajra, yeah? And uh, Guru, Guru Rinpoche, who is, was born from the lotus, Padma, lotus, yeah? Siddhi is what we need, realization, spiritual realization means health, prosperity, wealth, power, success, everything. We need to subdue demons, subdue ob obstacles, Padma, Siddhi, boom. So every day you can recite Vajra, okay? 那么密宗的基础的祖师爷就是莲花圣大师，因为如果没有他的加持，是绝对修什么法都不可能相应。所以 number one 呢，我们一定要有那个莲花圣大师的 grace， 我们叫做 receive his grace。所以做什么事情的时候，就是 receive 他的 grace， 我们修什么就会成就。如果以为是自己来做的话，是很难很难，他也不理你。所以呢，一定要跟莲花圣大师讲 ，please save me， please help me。Please bless me. His heart is done. He will come here to help us. Okay, so we have freed the birds captured in a cage at the jungle while returning back to. The hotel. 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 Patan, located in Lalitpur, is the historical city of Nepal. The city is popular for ancient temples, Newari architecture, lively traditional arts and crafts, dating back to more than 2,000 years. Patan Darba Square, listed in UNESCO World Heritage Site, has significant importance for its cultural heritage. Historical places and temples and squares illustrate exceptional beauty of the city. Ancient Krishna Temple, built in 17th century, is known as the best example of the city's artistic skills. After lunch, traditional Nepali thali. Yes, amazing. Now we are taking to Patan, okay? Okay. Where you can see the Nepalese traditional architecture oh. and the Hindu temples. Very beautiful place. Wow. Yeah, how do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> amazing Nepal. We are observing beautifully crafted ancient temples and places at Patan. People were taking pictures around the palace. This place used to be full of visitors every day. 
people written with peace, energy and creative thoughts after visiting this place. People also visit this place to study and research about history and arts. I felt extremely joyful to open door of monastery after cutting the ribbon because this door is opening for all Buddhist forever. Buddhist Chakradip Monastery was waiting peacefully to be inaugurated at Aruvari Kathmandu. I find myself very privileged and fortunate to open a door of peace for the first time in Nepal, the land of Buddha. Mr. Kulman Gissing, the executive director of Nepal Electricity Authority, was in front of me at the program. Buddha enlightened the world and this land of Buddha was living under load setting for many years. But leadership of Mr. Gissing enabled the country to break out to brightness. Knowing this fact and sharing a stage with Mr. Gissing is a moment of pride. Good morning everyone. Ashikane. Namaskar. In Japanese you say Ohayo. I'm from Singapore and I graduate from Japan under the Shingon Vajrayana Buddhist in Osaka, Oyasa. So Buddhism is not superstitious but it's a wisdom to live your life happily. So Buddhism comprises of two important elements. One is wisdom, another one is compassion. I heartily appreciate this commendable work of him. Then we participated in a cultural program. Lama Cham mass dance was performed by Lamas. This dance is performed at monasteries and other religious places. This dance encourages leaving negative thoughts away and moving towards peace. The belief of people making merits by watching these dances is still there.
Traditional Dampu Sang, Sabru dance of Serpas, peace chanting by Lamas were also performed in the program. I had not watched the Kumari dance earlier. This dance presents another beauty of Nepal. This dance is usually performed by Newar communities to remain out of dangers. It was extremely blissful to watch these dance and performances. At the end, the sun was setting down, but the light was emerging in the face of fellow travelers. Buddhists were waiting to welcome me while I was getting off the vehicle. They greeted me with traditional scarf on the entire way to the monastery. I have been delighted with this scene. Various traditional greetings conducted here are really commendable. I also participated in the peace prayers by Buddhists presented there. Today is a special day for me. All the events activities in the campaign of peace as Buddhist so far is reflecting in my mind as I am being awarded with honor of Kempo by priests from India including Sangye Lodoy Rinpoche. This honor is a reward for my dedication and study of years. I am feeling of additional responsibilities in process of crowning ceremony. I need to travel around the world to spread lessons and messages on Buddhism to enlighten the world towards peace and positivity. In addition, I shall be appointed as the chief of a special monastery and advisor in many related institutions. <laughs> I am very delighted to receive the certificate of Kempo designation from Buddhist Chakradip Monastery from the hand of great priest Sangye Lodoy Rinpoche from India. I'm <laughs> 
Mandala is made by hand with mixtures of sand and other colors. It should be made by doing of worship alongside that can take up to a week. Mandala, meaning circle in Sanskrit, is reflection of meditation in Hindu and Buddhist tantric traditions. Mandala is a representation of sacred universe that works as all collection center for the power of all the god and deities around the world. People move toward direction of unification and reunification process after entering the mandala mentally. The mandala is deconstructed by priest impulses, following a worship after all the followers worship. Offering were distributed to all worshippers for peace and harmony. Followers will keep this offering in their worship room at their home, believing to bring peace and prosperity to them. The Paspatinath Temple is one of the oldest and most significant pilgrimage sites in South Asia. Every year, thousands of devotees and visitors visit here to experience its holiness and historical importance. Many religious scriptures and mythologies are associated with this temple. 
and the Bagmati River flowing on the side adds to its religious significance. Pilgrims take a holy dip in this water to purify themselves spiritually. And the Arya Ghat on the bank of Bagmati is famous cremation place for Hindus. Now we are visiting Paswatinath temple and everyone look happy. Very good to know. I've always wanted to come to Nepal and this is the time now because I was invited by my very good friend um, Frankie and uh, um, Master Seifon, uh, Rinpoche Seifon. And here I met, uh, I met wonderful people including Rinpoche Purba, Rinpoche Purba. And Nepal is really amazing. Uh, the energy is just superb. If you've never been here, come, really come. And this is my first time here, and I'm sure it's not going to be just the first time. It's going to be, I'm going to be returning every now and then, and um, I know that I will always return back to where I come from in a very awakened, enlightened way. So today we are at Pashupadinath. Uh, with our Singapore and Malaysian groups. I think it's a very beautiful spiritual experience for them. And right now we are at Pashupatinath where we can experience the reality of life is, you know, the death. You know, we have to accept uh, the end of our life. Birth and uh, death is part of our life. So in the West, we hide this part of here in Nepal, in India, we can actually experience it. Uh, so it's good to come here to see the reality of life and to pray for all sentient beings so that we come on the ground, you know, we feel, oh, the real life is such, it's going to happen for everyone, you know. So when we realize that the end of life is a death for everyone, then all your negative emotions of such as anger and hatred and these things we eliminate, we get rid of, and we have to develop loving kindness, compassion for everyone. Pohara, known as the city of lakes is a popular tourist destination attracting visitors with its unparalleled natural beauty, tranquil lakes, and spectacular views on the Himalayas. The city is located in the lap of famous Fewa Lake and offers thrilling activities such as paragliding, zip lining, bungee jumping, and more. It is also home to an international mountain museum that showcases the rich history culture, and biodiversity of the Himalayan region. How is Pokhara? How beautiful would be the scenes while going to airport then we are flying in the skies of Nepal. We 
landed at the Pokhara airport, the scenes are beyond the imagination. We went to explore the mysterious scenes at the Mahindra cave. Waterfall is falling inside the cave. Rhythmic sound of the waterfall is echoing in the ears. The mixture of sound and the scene make an experience of a new world. People are always flock to explore this dark cave hidden in Pokhara. I experience an infinite peace while thinking about what is there in this cave. And the peace is clearly shown in the faces of returnees from the cave. I observed the external appearance after returning from the cave. I felt like visiting from another world for next one day. This cave has been decorated with these structures under the sky. That's why it's so important. Now we are at the bank of Fewa Lake. The blue lake is seen until the end of sight. A day is like a blink of eye. Our lake is more brighter in night than in the day. There is huge difference in the beauty of the lake in the night than in the day. Friend Kendrim Pose, Furwa Lama and I shared life experiences while walking along the banks of the lake in the evening.
we went to Sarangkut in the morning, but the weather was not clear. Beautiful scenes were covered with fog, so we returned by keeping them for the next time. And we sailed on a boat in the Fewa Lake. Meanwhile, we observed Barai Temple situated in the middle of the lake. We are returning back to Kathmandu after capturing the Pokhara in our eyes. Though beautiful scenes of Pokhara were reflecting back in mind, we had to attend some important places in Kathmandu. This is the last year of Pokhara, now we are flying to Kathmandu. It's a nice place, fantastic, nice mountain, <laughs> nice lake, nice cave. The Sambhanath Stupa is an ancient and royal religious monument with a history dating back over 2,500 years. It is one of the oldest and most sacred Buddhist stupa in the world. With captivating architecture that fascinates arts and art enthusiasts alike. The stupa features intricate carvings, colorful prayer flags, lamps, bells, and a beautiful golden dome. The eyes painted on all four sides of the stupa represent the wisdom and compassion of the Buddha. And the green surroundings add to a serene atmosphere. According to the legend, the stupa was self-created, emerging from a holy lotus that bloomed in an ancient lake of Kanmandu Valley. It is considered a treasure trove of cultural heritage that attracts pilgrims from around the world to seek blessings, perform rituals, and spin prayer wheels while reciting mantras. 
The Sambanath Stupa is a must-visit destination for those seeking to explore Nepal's spiritual traditions. Saimbunath after visiting the Narayaniti Palace, a historical place of Nepal's royal family, felt very light to reach this stupa by climbing the stairs. Fascinated with the scenes of birds flying around, I felt like eternal eyes of Swambunath are watching me while looking at its eyes. to remain long there, want to watch deeply the art and crafts of this place. Want to roll over the worshipping wheels. The empty mind of person is filled with joy and peace by Swambunath and I am happy pouring the joy and energy onto myself. This is the last day of, uh, of our trip in Nepal and thank you everyone for supporting my two-day central ceremony with my students from Singapore and here we are in this amazing Nepal and rich in cultural and religious beliefs so time passes very fast, this is our last day and hope to come back to Nepal soon, thank you very much so we will have many many retreats in Nepal and see you guys soon. 谢谢大家,我们很快会有更多的活动闭关,禅修在尼泊尔,因为尼泊尔是一个非常棒的一个圣地。
I am returning back to my country with a commitment to visit these missed places again. I had the pleasure and privilege to have the honor while seeing off as a cool to while I was welcomed to the country. Warm and intimate farewell bid by Nepalese is an unforgettable moment for me. A heartfelt thanks with love for support and cooperation to my friend Ken Rimpoche Purwalama.